Hi, this is Kate. Welcome to In the Studio, Kate. This is week 14 of this ongoing series of time in my studio, what it looks like, what kind of art I've been creating, what are my um, intentions uh, for what's going forward. Um, first, I, what I'd like to do is show you a few more things that um, I didn't show last week that came out of the um, retreat I went to in Island Park. The first thing that I have to show is for, there's a little mini class going on with Misty Mon about painting the portraits of immigrants. So all I've done is a drawing so far. I have not got around to paintings, but, but this was the sketch that I did. Um, from one of the portraits that she actually offered us, for us to use. So got the drawing done, haven't done anything with it yet. I intended to paint it when it was at retreat, but I forgot a palette knife, which is kind of crucial to mixing colors. So um, I ended up doing something else. So we'll get to it probably sometime this week. The other things that I did that I was looking for that journal last time and couldn't find anything was because I was in the wrong journal. Because I have a bunch of these Dilution journals. I have three of them. And um, I was looking in the wrong one. Which can be problematic. So I did a couple more. Okay, not this one. show you some backgrounds that I started. It's just, just a lot of stenciling, uh, paint and layers. I'm um, not sure what will come on top of that, but I'll show it in future weeks. Um, then I found this background I started doodling this little guy and I think he looks like BB-8 from the new St the latest Star Wars movie you shouldn't have long legs to be BB-8 so I might take those out but I thought he was kind of cute that shape was already there um, you know and I colored in the eyes and the mouth that was there it was kind of funny <laughs> so um, then I have this page that I started working on. Um, and needless to say, it's a work in progress. It's not done. I kind of brought three figures out of the background. And we'll be doing some more with that. I might continue it on to the next page. I haven't quite decided. And then I worked on a page for 12T. 12T is almost over. That is the online class that I have been doing with Mixie Gregory. And um, it's called 12T, needless to say. You can do a Google search on the name and you'll bring up her site. Um, we're up to our last color. We did a color a month. This color is yellow orange. I started out this piece with a page of yellow and orange on there. I really didn't like it. <laughs> then I did a lot of um, collage. Maybe not a lot, but I went through all of the jelly printed papers that I have that use that yellow orange range um, and use some of that to bring out some figures. And then the background was all yellow. So I painted the background blue um, because I think it's such a good complement to it. Um, and, you know, brought out these figures and they're all a little bit different. Different shapes, different sizes. I'm not sure what they're trying to tell me or if there's going to be more here, but for now, um, I brought them out, so that looks cool. You know, that was satisfying to me to be working with that yellow orange. So, after um, finishing that last night, was uh, as you know, yet yeah, you may not know, but if you case you know, um, yesterday was the winter solstice, so I had my art journaling group meeting and so I thought well I will do a winter solstice page. So I started that out by writing down things in my life that I wanted to let go of. Things that no longer serve me. 
things that I would like to take on a more positive note. And then I painted over them with, um, actually first drew, drew over all those words with red and yellow Stabilo pencils, making flames. So I was making flames because usually a ritual like that, you know, you write things down, then you throw them in the fire. Well, you know, we were at a meeting room at a church, so that wasn't a feasible idea to have a fire. So I did a ritual fire, which worked pretty well, I thought. And then um, collage papers over it. Um, this piece also is not finished. It's just starting to look like something. So I kind of added a lot of white and blue to bring all of the collage elements together. And then this woman appeared. Um, I think that I'm gonna put an animal with her. I'm not sure exactly how that will work, um, but I think this piece is going to evolve a little bit more. I like the, when I was working on it, I was trying to get, I use lots of blue papers and these little, um, you can see these little cutout things. They look like little leaves of sort. They were in a greeting card, and I just cut the shapes out and glued them down. And then, you know, I covered them up with a little white and a little, I was using titanium white and magnesium blue. And um, just to try to make the whole page the same, and I wanted it to have this feeling of white winter. So that's kind of where I'm going with it. I'm thinking a snowy owl might have to appear with her. But, you know, when I start working on it... Um, hopefully later today maybe that will come out um, but that's the art that I have to show for you this week um, I don't know about you but usually the holidays give me a whole lot less time for art because maybe I'm baking maybe I'm shopping maybe I'm wrapping presents you know dealing with all the trappings of the holidays sometimes means you don't get to your art so in those cases, I like to at least, you know, take that 15 minutes at the end of the day, slap a little bit of paint on your a journal page to get it started or do a little clash to get it started. Um, I'm probably not going to necessarily finish something in that, you know, time frame. But um, at least it gets the art juices flowing and it feels like you're working on something and then you're a little bit more satisfied that you actually have been able to do some art. So um, if you haven't been able to in the, during the sea, holiday season and want to, that's a good suggestion for you just to do a little bit and a little bit, you know, may lead to something more. Um, as to what I'll be showing next week, probably just continuation of those pages and, um, you know, some other projects that I probably have set aside. Maybe I'll have some time to actually work on them that week between Christmas and New Year's. So, but I'll see you next Friday. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful holiday, whichever holiday is you, that you celebrate, whether it be Hanukkah, Christmas, Kwanzaa, Yule. Um, spend some time with your families. If you, um, if you have one, with friends, um, just hope that you have a wonderful time and I will see you next week. Bye.